Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, my name is Rachel um, and today is actually a bit of a heartbreaking video um, because it is to do with my string of hearts which has taken a turn for the worst. Um, I will tell you the story all about how that has happened um, in a moment but I just thought that it would be a really great opportunity to film a video about um, how I'm planning to try my hardest to save this poor plant. I'll show you what it looks like or what it used to look like when I first got it and um, what it looks like now and hopefully what it looks like after I've started the process of trying to fix it. Um, so basically I got my string of hearts actually a, a year ago tomorrow. So tomorrow is my birthday and um, I got this heart string of hearts from my brother as a birthday gift and I was so excited. I absolutely loved it. It was such a full plant. It was absolutely beautiful, wonderful colours. Um, but unfortunately, the mother plant has been going downhill over the last few weeks. So what happened was I went away on holiday for a couple of weeks um, and with String of Hearts, they do thrive on neglect. They don't like a lot of water. You can easily give them a good watering and leave them for a week or two weeks um, and they would be absolutely fine. Now, the thing to understand is that my String of Hearts had had uh, problems with, with mealy bugs um, in the past and I've always just done that by hand, gone through and just removed all of those horrible fluffy bits that you find um, in the sort of crevices and corners between the leaves. Uh, and it would never been that much of a problem. But when I came back from holiday, it seemed like the mealybugs had just had a party and almost taken over the plant. So there was lots of mealybugs like in the soil um, and almost every single strand had mealybugs at almost every junction where the leaves are growing. So. I did some research online and I decided to go with um, this spray called SB Invigorator, which I have here. And I've seen loads of people talking about it on Facebook and on Instagram and using it on their plants. Um, and so I decided to use it. The bottle says that it controls a wide range of important pest species that includes whitefly, aphid, spider mite, mealybug and scale. Um, and it's what's called a physical mode of action. So it means that you need to actually spray um, this directly onto the whatever pest you're trying to get rid of in order for it to work. So it's not one of those which um, coats the surface of the plant and then when the insect um, eats the plant or kind of comes into contact with it, that's what kills it. It's the spray itself that actually has to come into direct contact with the mealybugs or whatever it is in order for it to work. Um, and what I liked about this spray is that it is non-toxic. So it's an organic or natural um, spray um, and it doesn't, it's not going to have any bad effect on uh, animals or young children or if you come into contact with it, um, it's not one of those like super toxic chemicals that a lot of pesticides are made out of. So I did like that about it. Um, and so what I did, I didn't actually take any video of me doing this because I didn't expect that my plant would go downhill so badly and I was never really going to make a video about it. But um, what I did was I just sprayed all the areas that I could see mealy bugs, let it dry out and then um, and then I kind of just left the plant to do its thing and I knew that um, as the bottle here says that you do have to apply it every uh, week or so until the mealy bugs or whatever pests are gone. Um, the spray itself did actually a really good job on the um, on the mealy bugs themselves in terms of washing them away uh, and getting rid of them. I have seen a few coming back so you know it is it is an ongoing process but unfortunately I don't know if this was the damage that the mealybugs had already created on the plant before I managed to get to it and get rid of them um, but the strands of hearts the strings of hearts started falling off um, so not the leaves themselves although some of the leaves have started also falling off. And I think that that definitely is damage from mealybugs because what they do is they suck sap from the plant and that weakens at the point where they are attached and they're sucking the sap out. That's where the, the plant is, is weakened and damaged. And so leaves or stems are more susceptible to just drop off um, if the mealybugs have been on there for too long. So, but what I noticed was that at soil level, the, um, the strands were 
the stems were starting to just kind of come away from the plant and so what I've ended up with are just lots of kind of sickly looking bits of plant which are all separated from from the pot itself and let me show you these here I mean like I have so much of it but it's not attached in any way like look at how long these strands are it was such a beautiful plant and now it's just like really fragile and um, leaves falling off and all sorts of things so what I want to do is try and um, get rid of some of the um, bad bits of the plant where there are leaves coming off where it's dried up um, where it might be a little bit mushy for some reason I, I don't really know what's going on with it um, and I'm going to try and propagate all of these strands um, and see what happens. Okay, so this is one of the strands here which has um, come off of the main plant. And now that I'm looking at it closely, I can actually see that there are still mealybugs here. So if you can see... Um, is that going to focus? Nope. Um, but you can see if it's a bit blurry, but there are white blobs right here um, and that's actually a thing that the mealy bug leaves behind to protect itself and its eggs um, so I will need to give this another spray and get rid of that but so in the meantime what I'm going to do is cut these strings into shorter lengths so that I can try and water propagate them get some new roots growing um, this was the end that was in the soil or that had roots and has now broken off um, and what I'm gonna need to do is to cut choose where the best place is to cut these strings off so that I can stick them in water um, so what I would generally say is to keep two or three pairs of leaves on each section of stem um, so obviously I need to take off any dead leaves that are there um, and then um, the first thing that you need to do is pinpoint where the nodes are. So the nodes are where we have leaves coming out. So every point on this string where you see leaves coming out, that's where a node is. So you'd have a node here, 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 and all the way down the stem. And even where there aren't any leaves, so where the leaves have fallen off, you can still see that there's sort of knobbly, bumpy bits Um right here where the leaves would have been and that is where roots will come out of if the stem is put into water so um i've got two sets of nodes here which don't have leaves on so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to trim off the excess because we don't necessarily need this whole length here so just trim that off and then i'm going to leave these three leaves on here and i'm going to cut just above the third set of leaves and so this is our first cutting here and this is the end that will go into the water and I'm just going to repeat the same thing with the rest of the um, the strands that I've got here with this string um, I'm tempted to actually le possibly leave it as it is. It's quite short anyway, and it's only got small leaves on it. So I may leave that as it is um, and take off this leaf here because it was it looked like it was going to fall off anyway. And this will be the bit that goes into water. I really hope this is clear. I don't know if this is making any sense or if it's you know actually making things more confusing. Um, okay, and then with this strand here, I'm just going to cut it into half. So half here. With this piece, um, we're going to just take the topmost leaves off so that we've got a node there that the, that the uh, roots can grow from. So unfortunately, you do have to sacrifice some leaves for this process. And so we've got that bit there and this string here. And the same with this one. I'm going to just snip off these two leaves here so that we have a node. Give it a bit of a trim. 
and that will go into the water. And these are the finished strands once I had cut them all into shorter lengths and um, prepped the nodes for going into water propagation. Um, oh, it looks so sad, doesn't it, compared to what it used to look like. But hopefully in um, a week or 10 days, I'll start to see some roots forming and um, we'll be able to get them potted up once again and get them growing into a fuller plant. And these are the things which I have to throw away, unfortunately, because they are dead or dried up or on their way out. Oh, I feel so sad. And this is all of the strands popped into a bottle of water to propagate. Wish it luck, guys. It needs lots of good thoughts to make it through this. I'm really hoping that it will. Um, check back here in a couple of weeks for any updates. And in the meantime, do subscribe. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you next time. Bye.